Hi sweets and welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm going to do my BoxyCharm unboxing. I got my two subscriptions. I got the base box and the premium box. For the base box, and first of all, the name of this boxes are Fantasy C. By the way, my dogs are with me, so you're going to hear them playing in the background as in this moment. And I wish they understood. They, they have to be quiet, but they don't. So. Let's just get with everything else. The first product that I saw in my box is this one. This is the Pharmacy Whip Cream Whip Greens Oil Free Foaming Cleanser. This retails for $28. The next product is this. This is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder for $24. The next product is this. This is the Generation Skin Hydrating Marine Algae Eye Patches. This retails for $49.99. The next product is this, the Outre, I think it is how it is pronounced, 8-in-1 plus CBD leave-in conditioner for $30. I'm not going to use this at this moment, but I'm really thankful that I got something new for my hair, my, this leave-in conditioner. I think that I will have to be really careful because it looks kind of thick, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to use this and last but not least it is this this is the billion dollar brows brows on point micro pencil this retails for $16 for my premium box which is the collab from boxycharm and Nordvina from Anastasia Perpelitos I got the chance to um I think to choose two of the products that I was getting. The first product that I chose is this, the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette in the volume one. This retails for $60. The other product that I chose is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hydrating Oil. What I got is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter. This is in the shade Peach Fizz. This clear brow gel retails for $22. The Dewy Setting Spray, this retails for $26. And last but not least, the Dual Ended Eyeshadow Brush, which retails for $16. What I didn't got in my box, I'm going to fill in with products that I already have. Meaning that we're going to start with the Pharmacy Foaming Cleansing, or Foaming, no, Whipped Greens Oil Foaming Cleanser. This is the actual packaging. I like the ombre effect that they have with the going with the white and the green seal which is good it's really really thick extremely thick i'm gonna use my makeup eraser to clean it off oh it feels really nice when you i'm gonna go with the hydrating oil from anastasia beverly hills this is the actual packaging i really love that this packaging it has a dropper. I'm going to use three drops because I'm going to apply foundation and I don't want to change much the appearance of my foundation. I really like the smell. It has a really faint herbal scent, which I like. It isn't too sticky, not too oily. I'm really liking this now i'm gonna go for the eye patches oh i like the packaging the color of the packaging really nice it has a little scoop and a lead because of the eye patches i'm gonna switch things up and i'm gonna start with my eyes i'm gonna use two of the products that i got in the box the norvina volume one and the dual brush which came broken by the way yeah it came it came broken this is the color story of the palette really bright dark colors this has a huge mirror. Instead of having names for the eyeshadow, it has letters and numbers. I am liking a lot neon colors, and this one is calling my name. As always, I prep my leads. I use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and now I'm going to go straight to the application. I'm starting with the shade E. 
four. I'm just pressing it in my lead. In my lead, it transferred a lot more, let's just say red than what I have and from what it shows in the pan, but I don't mind. You can intensify the color as you are seeing at this moment. Try to blend it a little bit with this brush, which I'm not liking so far. I like a little more soft brush for my blending part. I'm going to use another brush and I'm going to go to the shade E2 to help me blend a little bit this shade. Something I just discovered and I really want to point out this palette, the mirror part of it, it really goes all the way. Circular motions to really, really blend the edges. I'm looking at this shade, which is C2. And I, just to be really precise with the application, I'm gonna help myself with a flat detail brush. Just going to press it in the middle of my mobile lead. To be honest, I liked it. So um, applying it basically all over my mobile lead, but really sparingly, not not too much. I'm going to use this really dome fluffy brush and I'm going to go to the shade E3 to make sure that everything is blended and not like skipping and looking, I don't know, kind of strange up here. Since this is kind of a neutral shade, it will help with what I want to achieve. And I'm taking my sweet time to make sure that it is really well blend into three, two, three shades. Well, two that I have working here. Since the first part of the eyes are almost done, I'm gonna take a, off the eye patches. And I don't know if it is because of my nails, but they are aching, I don't know why. My base is almost done. I'm missing highlighter and powder. I'm gonna use the highlighter that I got in my premium subscription as soon as I can remove the safe and I'm gonna apply a little bit of it in the high points of my face highlighter done now I'm gonna go for the powder the powder is really smooth to the touch I'm gonna dust this all over my complexion what I'm really liking so far about this powder is that it doesn't take away the luminosity that I have going on in my face, which for me, that is a must. Really nice powder, really, really nice setting powder. I'm gonna use the Billion Dollar Brow. This is the Brow Some Point Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Taupe. Usually this is a too light of a shade for my really dark eyebrows. I think that, well, it isn't. Look, I think it is perfect. I have to do very little for my eyebrows. I'm just gonna fill a couple of gaps that I have because I have been trying to change a little bit the shape of them. So that's why I have, still, I have a couple of gaps. Now I'm gonna brush them to buff the product. Eyebrows are almost done. And then I'm gonna use the clear brow mascara that I have from Anastasia. Some people use this to tame their flyaways. That is a nice trick, by the way. So now I'm gonna finish up the eyes. I don't have a clue what I'm going to use for my bottom part. I'm looking and looking and nothing is like jumping out for me. Um, let me just... I have a lot of purple colors here, so purple it is what I'm going to use. I hope that I don't look bad. I really hope that it doesn't look bad. I'm gonna go to this shade A2. Oh, this shade is really nice. I really like this shade. A lot. A lot, a lot. 
To make the look a little bit more cohesive, I'm gonna go again to the shade E3, which is the one that I used to buff the edges of the top part. I really like this combination of this purple with this mustard shade. I think this is a look that I'm going to try to do. And for the inner corner, I think I'm going to use E1. I'm also taking it towards my top and bottom part just to help it blend into the shades that I have already worked on there. I like that. I'm liking my face so far. The makeup is done. The only thing missing is the setting spray and I'm gonna use the one that I got. I really like the packaging. Also, what I like is that it has this thing. And now, it smells like vanilla, I think. And I don't like the mist much, but it isn't bad. My thoughts for both of my subscriptions, I like them a lot. A couple of products that weren't standing out for me, firstly, the brush that is falling apart it wasn't a nice brush $16 for that it is too much then I like everything else for my Norvina palette the palette I wouldn't buy it myself but since I have to choose between the two the volume one and volume two I like the color story better the volume one than the volume two the volume two was more orange the other one which is the base one i like everything that i got the only one that i didn't use it was the leave-in conditioner because i wasn't going to wash my hair i love both of my boxes if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i really much appreciate it and if you want to get notified every time i upload a video press the notifications bell and i will see you in the next one bye